everybody, welcome to The Wild Dog Way. I'm Jessica. Today's video is going to be the top myths and misconceptions about homeschooling an only child. So homeschooling an only child is unique. It comes with its own positives and its own negatives and it's, we're kind of, you know, our own little, it's just a unique situation. And because it's unique, because it's the minority, because it's not the norm, there are a lot of myths and misconceptions that surround homeschooling and only. So today we're gonna debunk those myths. Myth number one, it is easier to homeschool an only child. Let's just go ahead and get the big one, hard one out of the way. Right up front, it is not easier to homeschool an only child. Homeschooling an only child is different. It's not easier. And I know moms of multiples are like, oh, of course it is. And moms of onlys probably think it's easier to homeschool multiple. But let's just be honest, you guys. The grass isn't greener on the other side. Homeschooling more isn't easier. Homeschooling less isn't easier. It's just different. Homeschooling an only child is a different dynamic. I always like to say that I imagine, and again, this is me making a, an assumption, but I like to imagine that a mom of a multiple is physically exhausted at the end of the day. She's juggled multiple kids. She's kept up with multiple kids. She's physically exhausted when her head hits the pillow. A mom of an only is more than likely not physically exhausted, but she's mentally exhausted because she has been on all day long from the time her kids feet hit the floor until her the time her kids head hit the pillow she's been on she's been there everything she is their teacher their mom their sibling their classmate their playmate she is the only person to listen and the only person to talk to and the only person to do anything with and so she is just mentally exhausted again not easier just different it's a different kind of tired it's a different dynamic homeschooling and only is just plain different, but not easier. Myth number two, homeschooling an only child means that you have just one child. That is not true. You can be homeschooling an only and have no children. You could be a, you know, an aunt or an uncle who happens to be homeschooling your niece or your nephew. You can be homeschooling an only and have multiple children. Maybe you have some kids who go to a different type of school setting, a traditional school setting. Maybe you have some kids who have already graduated. Either way, anyway, if you are only homeschooling one kid, whether you have one or 10, you are still homeschooling an only. You still experience the same set of unique dynamic that comes with homeschooling an only child. So again, you don't maybe not just have one, you could have multiples, but you're only currently homeschooling one because that in itself is its own unique dynamic. Myth number three is that socialization is a bigger concern for a homeschooled only child. That is a huge misconception because actually, in my personal opinion, socialization isn't a bigger concern for any homeschool child. When I was in school, in public school, all of my school career, I was told year after year by multiple different teachers, we are not here to socialize. Yet all of a sudden, when you become a homeschooler, school is the only place to socialize. That makes zero sense. Homeschool does not mean that you're not social. In fact, I would beg that it means that we're more social because we're out in the real world constantly. We're going to the post office, we're going to the grocery store, we're going you know, to co-ops and to wild and free groups and we're living in the real world all day long versus our child being stuck in a classroom with nothing but their peers all day. They can essentially communicate with toddlers to teens, even adults on an equal level because that's what they've done their whole life. All of that being said, just because you have an only child doesn't mean that socialization is somehow now a bigger concern. People will think it is if you're homeschooling an only and you tell people that, that will be the first question you get hands down every single time. What about socialization? My answer is always a giggle and then obviously you haven't met my child because if you've ever met Emily or even seen her here on social media, socialization is the furthest thing from your mind. She has literally never met a stranger. Um, but all of that to say, yes, sometimes we might need to be a little more creative with how we um, come up with peer events or things for an only child. I mean, obviously they don't have siblings, so there's ways to do that. I don't think socialization is a bigger concern though. However, if you're looking for ways to create more um, events or situations or 
you know, environments where there are peers involved, there are tons of ways to do that. And they're the same for an only child as they are multiple children. You can do live online classes. You can do co-ops. You can do homeschool days. There are tons of local places to us, and I'm sure it's the same way everywhere, that do homeschool days where, you know, it's nothing but homeschoolers at the museum all day long. I mean, that's a fantastic way to meet other, you know, homeschoolers in your area. Um, sports, you can have your kids do karate or gymnastics, Girl Scouts or Boy Scouts, wild and free. I mean, there are tons of socialization options out there if you're looking to add more. However, again, I'm also going to say just because you have an only child does not mean you need to add more socialization. I did that. I fell into the trap of feeling like it was a big deal and feeling guilty and then doing all of the things. And within like three months, Emily was like, whoa, mom, this is too much. We need to stop. And so I think you need to know your child, whether you have one kid or four kids, know your children. How much interaction with people do they really need? How much do they crave? I mean, are they asking for more? Okay, then add another, you know, event or something. Are they like, this is too much and overwhelmed? Then maybe it's time to take some away. And I think that applies whether you're homeschooling one or homeschooling many. Myth number four is that homeschooling and only is lonely. And it sometimes can be. Sometimes homeschooling only can feel lonely because you can feel like nobody else gets it. Nobody else understands what you're going through. You feel like you can't talk to your friend that's homeschooling multiple because you feel guilty that you're complaining or you're venting when there's, you know, just the one at home or you feel like nobody else gets it. You feel like you're the minority. Um, it's hard to, you know, find friends for your kids. It, there's tons of things that can make it feel lonely. And there are times when it can, but it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be lonely. You can find a community. And if you can't find a community, then I will be your community. I homeschool only. I've been doing it for five years. I will get anything you need to complain about. I will understand the situations that you're going through. You can message me. You can DM me. You can leave a comment. Whatever you need to do to create a community, to make it so that you're not lonely in this homeschooling and only thing, then do it because there's no reason for it to be lonely. It doesn't have to be. Um, your kid doesn't have to be lonely either because we just talked about all of the different situations and options out there for them. Co-ops, sports, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, 4-H, wild and free, um, homeschool days, live online classes. There are tons of options for your kid. And then there are also going to be options for you. And if you can't find any of those options, I will be your person until you can. Are you homeschooling and only? If so, let me know down in the comments what you find to be the biggest myth or misconception. What is the question you get asked the most that you're like, are you really asking me this? Because I would absolutely love to debunk even more myths and misconceptions about homeschooling an only child.